Master? Are you all right? You haven't come out of your room yet, and... Master? Master! Oh, my lord, what is happening? Are you injured? Are you unwell? Are you too exhausted to vacate your bed? If someone has managed to poison you even through my rigorous testing of every dish served to you, I swear I will have their head. Feeling a bit unwell? Please, master, keep talking. I must tend to you to ensure that you are well before I go out and hunt down whoever made it so that you are feeling this way. It is an inexcusable crime to make someone as radiant as yourself fall ill and take such a long time to leave their bed. No, master, don't say something like that. It's my responsibility as your head maid to ensure that you are not simply taken care of, but treated like the royalty that you are. I suppose that you indeed have no blood relation to neither king nor queen. But to me, you are the highest nobility I can imagine. I have sworn an oath to you on the day we drew up my contract, if you recall. I swore to you that I would do anything in my power to ensure your comfort and satisfaction with any and all services I offer. I will not accept for this to simply be a case of the flu or something of the likes. Every day I work tirelessly and ensure all the other maids and servants work tirelessly as well to clean every single part of this mansion. Not a single place is left untouched. Your health is weak on its own, and I've instructed them time and time again. Even the slightest space that is untouched might cause a disease that could kill the master. I ensure all food is cleaned three times before it's allowed to even enter the room you are in. I check everything that comes through the gates, run three control rounds across the grounds, and even guests aren't allowed to come near your radiance until they've showered themselves and changed into clothes that I can confirm have been washed while inside of the grounds. Any slight disease is a mistake on my end. Someone in the staff doing something wrong, some error made by me. I will accept any punishment, Master. I take full responsibility. But, if you will, please allow me to take care of you first, before I find out the person responsible and punish them appropriately for risking your health. I know, Master. I'm sorry it has to be this way. For you to live your life in isolation from everyone and everything, unable to even look for a suitor, I can understand that it cannot be a pleasant life at all times. But I assure you, it's absolutely necessary. Your health is the most important thing I care for. I've worked for as long as I can remember to ensure your absolute comfort and safety within this home. Your disease limits where you can go and who you can see. It even limits what you can do. But it doesn't have to limit your enjoyment of life, Master. You're the one who makes out your own destiny. But enough about your disease. There's no need to remind you of things you already know. In this moment, my duty is to ensure that you are taken care of until this illness hopefully fades away and you are once again safe. Well, first I need to know everything. What are you feeling and where? Okay, a stomach ache, a headache, a hoarse throat, and you feel like you're hot all over. Is that all? I'm simply ensuring that I know all the symptoms before I do anything, Master. An adverse reaction to any treatment could be dangerous. I'll be bringing you everything until this fades. If you wish to read a book, I will go to the library for you. If you wish to eat, I will go to the kitchen for you. If you wish to sleep, I will watch. Over you. I will watch over you. Anything you desire, I will provide. But while you are ill, I cannot allow possible infections to enter this room, and I can only ensure for two people that are not infected with anything. Myself and yourself, Master. So no visitors. It will be just the two of us. You would agree to that, right? Very well, Master. Now, let me see. We'll get you some fever few some herbs and healing salves, and your daily dose of medicine to start with. Then we'll see later into the day if you're feeling better at all. But it's important that you stay right here in bed, okay? I will bring everything to you, wash every inch of my body before returning to ensure that no new sickness enters this room. I will be back shortly. Yes, Master? 
Of course, master. Soup, bread, boiled egg. Anything else you might desire before we formally lock down this room? Of course, master. I have returned, master. On this tray, I have medicine for you, as well as the food you requested, and of course your favorite book. I've seen you read it close to thirty times now, I believe. Would you perhaps enjoy it if I tracked down the author and asked them to write a similar novel? Well, I do believe the author is still alive, yes. And you know that I would move the firmament to see a smile on your face. Asking a novelist to write a novel inspired by an earlier work of their own should be no great feat, compared to some of the things I have done for your comfort. Why, yes, I do know what the story is about. A young prince trapped in a castle who meets a princess from a vastly different culture, and they eventually escape the castle together and become lovers, if my summary is correct. I suppose that I do enjoy reading romance of a similar ilk, yes. My fantasies are something else entirely, and I don't believe it's appropriate for me to share them with you, Master. No, Master. Not even with your permission. In fact, I believe we should be ensuring that you get better first. Please, prepare yourself. I know most of these medicines are not as tasty as they should be, so I've brought little frozen drops of honey because I know you like those. Each time you take one of your medicines, I will give you a piece of honey so that you can cleanse your palate and have something tasty in your mouth for a moment, okay? Wonderful, Master. Then open your mouth. First we'll do your regular, everyday medicine. And then a honey drop. Then a spoonful of feverfew extract. And then another honey drop. A pill for your stomach. Another honey drop. And finally, the pills to complete your daily medicine swallowing session. And one more honey drop. Now, if I'm correct, the sweetness and thickness of the honey should also soothe your hoarse throat, in addition to the fact that their coldness will at least slightly lower the temperature of your warm body. Please, Master, tell me if you feel different at all. Yes, of course. Your bread, soup, and your boiled egg. As well as your book on the side of the tray. Hmm? What do I do in my spare time? Well, to be honest with you, Master, I'm quite busy most hours of the day with you. You occupy every thought I have. Every second of my day is spent thinking about what I can do for you, be it finding a way to keep you safe from the world outside or trying to make you comfortable. I know you had a lot of trouble finding a maid after you were diagnosed with your condition. It's a lot of work to be so vigilant, and only the best of the best are willing to take that on. And even then, it would require their full focus. I don't consider myself one of the best mates out there, but I do spend every second of my day, waking or asleep, thinking about you and how to make sure your comfort is the highest it can possibly be, even considering your condition. Why, yes, it's a great deal of work indeed. Your body cannot fend off any illness, be it a slight imbalance in fluids or something more serious. If anyone carries any type of bug into your chambers, even the smallest tick, it could be the death of you. And as the head maid, I would be responsible for your death. So it's my duty as your maid to protect my dar- Master. To protect my master. The fact that you have fallen ill is a reflection on me. It means that something slipped past my keen eyes. I- Overworked? Why, it's a lot of work, yes, but I wouldn't consider myself exhausted. All the energy I need comes from seeing you happy, Master. I... I admit that I've slept around three hours last night, but that is not my choice. A couple of the errand boys had... Yes, Master. I apologize. I swear I will take better care of myself and... Sleep in your bed? Master, how... I apologize for not following your orders immediately, but while you're in this state, looking like this, I don't believe it's a wise choice to lay with another in your bed, for your own safety. Even if you wish for me to take care of yourself, I can't simply... Yes, Master. I apologize. I will lay down beside you.
Master, I... You're very close. No, I'm not complaining. It's just... We're not usually this close. I have to ensure that nobody gets close enough to you to be like this. To be close enough to touch you. To run my fingers through your hair if you'd allow me to. I... I can smell you. It's so sweet. I... I wish I could be this close to you more often, Master. I don't share this often because I don't think it's appropriate at all, but... Would you allow me to speak openly for just a moment? Thank you. I just... I have feelings for you. Strong feelings. Feelings that I've never felt for anyone before. It's closer to an obsession than it is to love. I just... I'm not sure if it's truly necessary for the protection around you to be strict, but I just... I get jealous whenever anyone gets close to you. It's not just the protectiveness that you hired me for. It's genuine jealousy. I feel like you're... Mine. Which doesn't make sense, I know. You're my master, and I'm simply a servant of yours. It's not good that I feel like this about you. It's not right. If anything, you're the one that owns me, but I just... Forgive me for saying this, but I have a need to be near you. I have a need to be the only one who is allowed to be close to you, to be the only one you rely on, the only one you turn to. And I understand that is a terrifying notion in more than one ways. But I can't help it. Mm. I suppose that your medical condition requires for someone to be close to obsessively engaged with your every movement and every piece in this home. In that way, I could see how my obsession with you could, technically speaking, be an advantage for you. It'd be a safeguard for your health. Well, yes, I've been able to keep my emotions in check thus far, at the very least well enough to consistently be your maid without any issues arising. I suppose you're right, Master. It's... Nice to know that you don't think of it as an issue. Thank you for that little bit of comfort. Hmm. I'll be silent now. You require rest to fend off your illness. If you feel any worse or better, please alert me, and I will attempt to do something about it immediately. Thank you, Master. I really appreciate it.